You back already? So how did you get in this whole superhero business anyway? A long story. I got accused of some stuff I didn't do. I tried to buy my freedom by agreeing to some sketchy experiments. Next thing you know, I got unbreakable skin and super strength. I got bitten by a spider. No. Yeah. And you named yourself Spider-Man. Cool. As a kid, sounded cool at the time. I still like it. So you were a kid? What's the excuse with that costume? Why does everybody talk crap about my costume? It's a classic. It's iconic. I was unaware that one of Iconic's definition was ugly as hell. <laughs> this coming from the man that used to run around in a yellow puffy shirt with the little silver tiara and his afro? Man dressed like you right now don't get to talk about how I used to dress. Still, you wore a tiara. It was a headband. A headband. Hey, Spidey, you have definitely made an impact. That's good to hear. Yeah, so much so that now these gangs have brought out the heavy hitters. By heavy, do you mean serious? Like in, oh, that's heavy, bro. Or heavy as in possessing a large mass, like a fat guy. Does that even matter? Both, okay? Okay, so I guess I should go knock them down to size, huh? Good to see you, Spidey. Now, I've been thinking about your unique fighting skills. Of course you have. They're awesome. Yes, indeed. Now, you know you could use your webs to swing into a large group of enemies and take them out with one single kick. Let's find a nice clump of thugs, and I'll give it a shot. All right. This corner is infamous for gang trouble. Okay, what do you want me to do? Get a run and start to swing, then take them out with one big swinging kick. Now, if they spot you, they're gonna try to run, so be fast. Is working for you, Spidey. Think you can do it again? But of course. Good. I have another bunch of hoods. Looks like they have a lookout this time, so take them out fast. All right. Now, this is a big group, and they have more than one lookout. Just move fast and aim that swing carefully, and you should be able to take them all out in one shot. Nice move, Spidey. I always strive for efficiency in my superhero-ness. <laughs> right. Anyway. Take out any group of thugs you find in the same way. Catch them all with one swing kick. It's a beautiful thing, baby. Now come see me when you cleaned up these street corners.
You back already? You'll be pleased to know that I heard from the leader of the Rolling Sevens. Let me guess, he wants us to come over to his house and hang out and be friends. Actually, he agreed to a parlay. After I pointed out that you saved his scrawny butt and he needed to return the favor. Let me guess again. You want me to set up a play date with the other gang leader? You could put it that way. I wouldn't. Just find him. Tell him the other side agreed to come to the park tonight at sundown. No guns. Sundown, eh? Well, you got it, Sheriff Luke. Deputy Spider-Man will get that rascally varmint. We don't deserve this. Well, I guess it all started when you decided to murder each other in front of the hospital. That kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Man, Rhoda Sutton started all that. They killed my cousin. And you hit back at them and so on. Thing is, they've agreed to a parlay. What are you talking about? I'm saying that you, the leader of the Rolling Sevens, and Mr. Cage are going to have a little sit-down. A little chat. Sevens agreed. Yes, they did. And I suggest you do the same. Or Mr. Cage, the police, and yours truly are all going to be your new best friends. So, uh, what's the plan? Tonight, at sundown, in the park. Be there, or be square. Be square? You from Queens or something? Just show up or else. Well, there was this drive-by shooting just as your ambulance pulled up and then one thing led to another and... Same old story. But what about your arm? How come you're leaving the hospital already? Miracles of modern medicine. A few titanium pins, a few painkillers. I'm good as new. 
I was so scared this morning. Venom was choking me and you weren't moving. Maybe that explains it. Explains what? Explains you turning into that other thing? That other version of you? You saw that? Yes, I saw it. Tell me it's gone, Peter. Tell me you don't have that black suit again. Well, it's complicated. You have it, don't you? You know what that does to you. You know how it can change you. You know it actually worked for me. At first. Maybe this time it's different. I don't believe you. Get rid of it, Peter. Get rid of it and then I'll talk to you. Come on, MJ. Venom is out there still. I have a feeling that something's changed. That something about the suit is different. Yeah? Well, I have a feeling everything will be the same. Get rid of it. It's not who you are. (sighs) Find me when you are yourself again. All right. I have to go. I've got this whole saved all of Harlem by forcing a peace between two vicious gangs thing going on. Spidey sense. There! This guy's a pro. Who sent him? What's this? Oh no. The whole gang war was a setup. hero I ever met just used me for a punching bag. We had a deal. I gotta do what I gotta do. With or without me, my crew is taking down the sevens. I said no guns. You were played. They were trying to make you guys kill one another. And it worked. This is a damn mess. All right. Don't see no other way to end this. You ever need the Rolling Sevens? We're there. Same goes for the Park Avenues. The armor on those assassins in the park meant they were from a well-financed organization. 
I thought I would start with the richest crime boss in town and work my way down. That meant Mr. Wilson Fisk, the kingpin. I decided to head for the Fisk building, take a look around, and then see MJ in the morning. Of course, in my life, nothing seems to go as planned. The stylish headquarters of the fattest man in crime. Hold on, something's up. Oh no, not her. How can Black Cat be working for Kingpin? To you. I can never get enough of my little Spidey man. Alicia, please, just stop. Please. Come on. Make me. Please, Felicia, give it a rest. Black Cat, Felicia Hardy. Up to her pretty little eyeballs in trouble again, no doubt. I must be seeing things. It can't be. 